on times we had. I hope you smile. George Blackburn back in the 60s when we were high school principals in adjoining counties. I was at Canton and he here at Van. I knew at first when I met him that he was an unusually nice fella. And as we got to know each other better after I came to Van in 1966, I really came to appreciate him as a person and as a professional schoolman. He loved the kids. Uh, his focus was always on, on the kids. He called them kiddos most of the time. Just as a person, he, he became a very good personal friend. He, uh, he loved to crappie fish and uh, he kind of was responsible for me getting to uh, crappie fish too, so we fished together a lot. There are a few, few funny stories about George. One that most everybody has heard, I guess, is the time when he paddled the wrong kid in the, in the hallway when school was opening. I know he got tired of hearing that story, but he wouldn't fuss about it. He'd just grin and let you go ahead and tell the story. As it was told to me that it was about the first or second day of school and everything was kind of hectic in the halls and he saw a boy with a cap on, which was against the rules in those days, and he just stepped out of his office and grabbed this boy and took him in the office and as was common in those days give him a swat with a paddle and send him on his way. Turned out this boy was from Lindale, just over here visiting some of his kinfolks. <laughs> so he gave him a swat and everybody has been careful not to let George forget that, you know, the rest of his life. You couldn't hitch him up wrong. He would just do whatever he was supposed to do, whatever was right. He was faithful to the school. He loved the school and he loved his church and the community. He was just a really a good school citizen and a community citizen and uh, I think one of the most deserving of all people to be in the Hall of Fame. Frank Martins uh, was a very good guy in our days and had a great time with him and he was a good person and a good principal and uh, he come running in the office, you know, and Miss Miss Williams is there, he said, Miss Williams says, hurry up, says, get up and help me, he said, we got to put a fire out in Mr. Uh, Giles' office, says, there's smoke coming out of it. Now, back in those days, students got to smoke on campus. There was three girls in there smoking in Mr. Giles' office. They had the window up, <laughs> and <laughs> somebody had told them, says, here comes Mr. Blackburn, so... These three girls disappeared and left out of that room. Of course, when Mr. Blackburn opened it up door to the Mr. Giles' office, it was just filled with smoke, you know. And boy, he was all turned. He turned around and asked Miss Williams, he says, does Mr. Giles smoke, you know? said, <laughs> When I was a um, junior in high school, I had a real bad accident. And uh, he helped me out. He really did. If it hadn't been for him, I wouldn't have made it, you know, because of uh, him, yeah.